This ejection is all about rules. Stay tuned for analysis. Should be deep enough to score Schwarber. It will. Baez trying to get to third. Here comes the throw. And not handled by Sogard. It's a sack fly. Charge that run to Adrian Hauser. Look out. Here he goes. And here comes Baez to the plate. And he's going to come in and score. The Brewers just fell asleep. Yeah. And Craig Council's coming out. He's thinking the ball's out of play. Well, what uh, Sogard was doing, he was throwing the ball to Keston here, thinking that Baez left early. Baez watching everything. He takes off the home plate. And here comes the crew chief, Ron Culpa, to come in and have a conversation with Craig Council and try and defuse him right now. Craig Council's wondering why timeout wasn't called. Normally, when you, you know, want to appeal like that, you wait till timeout is called. You give the ball to the pitcher. He steps off, and you you do an appeal play at the bases. Understand the frustration from Craig Council too. That's going to be another error. It's an error on somebody, I would think, right? Maybe not. Maybe fielder's choice. Allowing Baez to score. This has been a a disastrous defensive game for the Brewers. No yeah. doubt about it. As yeah. soon as we start talking about how good the defense has been all year. All credit to Dean Roscoe, Milwaukee's organist, with a thrilling rendition of Dancing Queen, which he does during these discussions a lot of times. The rule is 509C comment. One sentence in the entire rule book clears the entire play up. Time is not out when an appeal is being made. Therefore, it's a live ball. If Craig Council had known that, he might not have argued so vehemently and gotten thrown out. Then again, his team is getting no hit, so maybe he would have gotten thrown out. Because Baez distracts the Brewers who fail in their primary directive here, which is to actually appeal on him at second base. If you, The camera's not that great, but if you'll notice, the middle infielder gets distracted and tries to cut the ball off and throw home, never actually touching second base to appeal on Baez, which was what they wanted to do. We have many case plays on our website, closecallsports.com, about appeal plays. Remember, at the pro level, it's a live ball during an appeal. At the high school level, you can appeal during a dead ball, but at the pro level, the ball must be live. And this is a situation, this is what we call a real-time appeal. It occurs during the activity of the play itself in which the infraction allegedly occurred. You can also do what's called a delayed appeal, which is you give the ball back to the pitcher, call timeout, then the pitcher steps back on the mound, umpire says play, that puts the ball in play, then the pitcher steps off the mound, remember the ball is live because the umpire just put it in play, and then the pitcher tries to throw to the base for an appeal. It would be legal if Bias tried to score during that time too, because again, the ball is live. Appeal after the fact. You, you put the ball back in play, you step off, call, call time. time. Call time now, give the Incorrect. Ball the put the ball in play, play, step off. Field. You do not call time. 509C comment. Time is not out when an appeal is being made. It's a live ball. <laughs> 